Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about source free parallel RLC circuit. Now, the concept of source free, uh, let's just revise. If you have a parallel circuit, RLC circuit, and this is connected with the source, and source is connected before T is equal to zero, therefore the capacitor and inductor will get charged by the source. At t is equal to 0, we disconnect this source. So what is left is this circuit. And this is the source free circuit. And the current flow in the circuit will now continue because of the charges stored in the capacitor and inductor. And uh, the general derivation of the general formula is that we write KCL. So summation of all three current is equal to zero, current leaving, and IR is V over R, this is the voltage here, same voltage here, same voltage here, so V over R, IL is 1 over L in uh, integral V dt, and IC is C dV dt. Now since there is an integral and differential, uh, we would like to eliminate uh, the integral part, so we differentiate it again. And so now this will become in terms of differential of the circuit or the equation. So we were here and now we assume that the voltage is given by this exponential form AEST. As we have assumed in case of a series also, there we have assumed the current, here we are assuming voltage. And so if you put this in this and take the differential, we get a term like this. From here we take e AEST common. So we have this term in the bracket. And now since this is equal to zero, so either this term should be zero or the term in the bracket should be zero. Now this is our assumed voltage, so this will not be zero. Therefore, the term in the bracket has to be zero. So this is equal to zero. And if we uh, divide by C, then we get this equation. So this equation is called the characteristics equation and it is of second degree, it's a binomial equation so it will have two roots, so I hope you know how to write the uh, formula for roots of the binomial equation. And from here to simply simplify this we assume two things. We assume the first term to be alpha, so alpha is 1 over 2 RC, and we assume this term omega naught is equal to under root LC. And now if we plug in, we will have a simplified form of the two roots, so S1 is given like this and S2 is given like shown here. And Depending on the value of alpha and omega, we will have a choice of three equations. If alpha is greater than omega, this will be called overdamped case and we will use this equation for the voltage. If alpha is equal to omega, then it will be called critically damped case and we will use this formula. And if alpha is less than omega, this will be under damped case and then we will use this formula where WD is given by the formula given below. Now the problem solving strategy uh, we had discussed earlier also, we will just follow these five steps. Okay, now let's solve this question. These are the values given and the, this is the initial condition given. We have to find the equation for Vt. So for first step is for t less than 0 we have to find v0 and i0. Fortunately it is given here so we don't have to bother. So this is what is given. So we take that. The next step is that we find dv0 dt through kcl. So we write the kcl equation that we discussed already. So this is the current equation. Put in t is equal to 0 this will become of this form and 
then IR is V naught over R. So now this voltage is V V naught. So V naught over R is IR. This current is I naught, and this is C dV zero at dt. And we know that V naught is five volt. So this V naught and this V naught is same. So we'll plug in five volt here. And this I zero and this I zero is also same. So we'll plug in zero here. So 5 volt divided by the resistance 1.923, zero capacitor 10 millifarad here, and solving dv0 dt is minus 260 volts per second. So that is second step. Now in the third step, we need to find alpha and omega. Plugging into the formula alpha is 26, omega is 10. So now C, we see that the alpha is greater than omega, alpha is greater than omega, so this is an overdamped case. So now we'll choose the VT equation for overdamped case, and we had these three, so this is for the overdamped case, so we'll select the top one, so this is our VT equation. Now in this case we need to find S1 and S2 also. So we'll use the formula for S1 and S2 and plug in the values of alpha. And this way the value is minus 20 and minus 50. So we plug in these two values here. So our general equation for VT will become like this. And now we need to find A1 and A2. So this is the equation that we had. These are the conditions the, that we had found out. First we will put t is equal to 0 in this equation. So putting t is equal to 0, we get this v0, this is a1, this becomes a2, v0 is 5, so we put 5 here. So this is one of the equations. To get another equation we have to differentiate this. So we differentiate the equation, this is the term that we get, and now we put t is equal to 0 here also, so putting t is equal to 0, we get this term, dv0 is already we have found out minus 260, so we plug in that here, so now we have two equations, number 2 and number 3, and solving these two, we find a1 and a2. Now we plug in the values of a1 and a2 in the general equation to get the final value or final equation. So this is the final result uh, for the question number one. Okay, let's do another one. Exactly same question except that the resistance is now changed. This is 5 ohm. So we'll follow similar steps. 40 less than 0, V0, I0 already given. So we write down. Go to next step, DVDT, again KCL, KCL putting T is equal to 0, writing in terms of voltage and resistance here, plugging in the values. So the only change here is now that this resistance is 5 from the previous example and consequently DVDT 0 is now minus 100 volts per second. Third is we find alpha and omega. Now alpha in this case is now 10. In the previous uh, example it was 26. And omega is 10. So now these two are same. Okay. We have to find equation for Vt. Since alpha and omega is, is equal, equal to 10. So this is a critically damped case. And for critically damped case, we will now pick this equation. So this is the equation. And putting in the value of alpha is 10. So this becomes our uh, uh, final general equation. Now we need to find A1 and A2. So in this equation, we put T is equal to 0. 
get and t is equal to 0 v0 we get is equal to a1 now v0 was 5 so we plug in 5 here so a1 becomes 5 now we differentiate this equation to get the second term differentiating we get these terms i hope you can do uh, we are differentiating the first term and then we keep in the second term and then second term differentiating the first term so we get as shown here now at t is equal to 0 this becomes dv dt 0 and here we get this result minus 10 a1 plus a2 now dv dt 0 we had minus 100 so we plug in that here equation 7 and equation 2 we will solve we get a1 to be 5 and a2 minus 50 and so now we plug in the values in the uh, general equation so this is our final result so i hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem if you follow these steps it is very easy thank you